This page is used to add registrants to your particular event. You can choose from a variety of different registration types depending on what your state director has configured for you. Advisors, observers. If you choose observer or advisor, one of those types, more than likely you'll have an option to type in a first or last name. This is how you'd put in parents or teachers or administrators that were coming that might not be SkillsUSA members. If you choose contestant, you can only choose from existing SkillsUSA members. Your state director has the option to restrict your registrations to only submitted members and potentially even only paid members, meaning you have to have paid your SkillsUSA membership dues before you can register. That's up to your state director. Let's say we want to register Fred Fenderson here as a contestant. You can choose, your state director may have configured different categories to choose from, leadership or skilled technical contest, various categories of, of contest. Um, let's say this particular person is going to compete in extemporaneous speaking and he's also going to compete in a, in a couple of skilled contests. So I'll use add another contest here. It'll show up at the bottom that says whenever I'm finished and click save and continue this person will be added to extemporaneous speaking and I also want to have them compete in let's say teamwork. Now the thing about teamwork is it is a team event, team of four. So when I choose Teamworks, it's going to also give me the option to choose a team code and a team sequence. This is how if you have two different teams from your school competing, you might choose Team A for the first group of kids and Team B for the second group of kids. This person is going to be Team A sequence one. The next person on the team might be Team A sequence two, Team A sequence three, just like that until you get a whole set of team of four together and then you change to the next sequential number. Let's say that's the second one he's going to be in, and I also want to have him compete in, um, let's say, sheet metal. That is not a team event, so those options disappear. And I hit save and continue. It'll take me on to the next page, and notice Fred is registered, and down at the bottom are all three contests that he's going to compete in. I'll just fill out a few more bits of information, make sure we have his address, make sure we've got his shirt size, all the various elements that are required to save this. Now Fred, if I go and add a registrant again, Fred will no longer appear in the list because he's already been registered as a contestant. I couldn't add him as another contestant. If I forgot to put him in a contest, I would go back to Fred's record and use the Add Contest button to put him in yet another contest. That's how you get him in multiple contests if you need to.